is combining graphics on your screen and I'm in the middle. So what's going to happen is in the future I'm going to actually be on the driving range, okay, fulfilling this, this video, okay. So just bear with us for a minute. Now, on the screen, the two pictures you see, you see a picture of Rory at the top of his backswing, and then you see me at impact. Okay, now this is what we call covering the ball. Okay, now what do we mean? We, and we probably heard this uh, from time to time uh, with our instructors saying that we have to cover the ball. Okay, when the, ball, the ball's here, we have to cover the ball. Okay, cover the ball. You know, what does that mean to cover the ball? Now, I'm going to use a water nut. This is a water coconut. There's water inside here. I'm just going to use this as a reference point, okay, as I set that down, okay. Now, what does it mean to cover, to cover this, this ball or this object, okay? What does it mean? Well, it means that we want to make sure that we don't come over the top. But what happens in the golf swing when you tell a weekend golfer to cover the ball, their first reaction, guys, or your first reaction is what? To come over the top and try to cover it. See, what you do is you, you come over the top and you try to cover the ball coming down, or you try to cover as the club comes down. What it means, guys, is you want to cover the ball with your chest and your hands. Now, I don't mention chest as being a body part in 2-6. Okay, my body parts in 2-6 are head, shoulders, arms, wrists, and hands, which is one unit, which is three. Head one, shoulders two, arms, wrists, and hands three, hips four, knees five, and your feet six. Okay, now the reason why I don't say the chest is a body part because the chest is so closely related to your shoulders. Okay, so if we can control our shoulders, we're going to control our chest. So it's easier for me to tell you to control your shoulders by having your lead cheek behind the ball so your, so your shoulders can be locked back. Because if your shoulders are locked back, your chest is locked back. Okay? If I started telling you to cover the ball with your chest, you're going to automatically just think you need to cover the ball and you're going to come over the top. Okay? What I mean by that is you're going to cover the ball and you're going to come over the top. So if I can get you to do what? If I can get you to control your head, lead cheek behind the ball, locks your shoulders back, it's going to lock your chest back. So basically, when I come through the ball here, and as you can see at impact on the, on the, on the, the, the screen there, at me at impact, I'm here, okay, right here, but look what's covering the ball. My chest, okay, is covering the ball along with my hands, okay? My hips have cleared. Okay, and I'm going to start now, rotate my club head out to 2 o'clock. When you look at Rory at the top of his backswing, notice how centered his swing is. Notice how centered he is, okay, at the top. See how centered I am? Now, because I'm centered, my trail side won't get in the way. So now, my, my, now I can drop my club straight down without any kind of interference with my trail side. And then I can cover the ball as my club tracks from the inside. See, my club still has to track from the inside, okay, for me to do what? To cover the ball, my club still has to track from the inside. Now, with your grip and posture, because you're set up with a spine-centered posture here, like I'm here, I'm in a pre-takeaway position which keeps me centered. So staying centered is the key to dropping the club straight down because if I swayed off the ball here, see, I might, if I tried to drop straight down from here, my trail side would get in the way. And if I swayed off the ball, now I have to sway back and now my club comes over the top because of that sway. So that's what you have to understand when, you, when we talk about covering the ball. Okay, so the more you can stay centered here, the easier it can drop and the easier it drops straight down, now what happens is your chest and your hands and your shoulders do what? Cover the ball right here without you swaying, without you casting the golf club. Again, look at the pictures on the side. Now, in the future, I'll be at the driving range showing you from down the line view how it happens, how to drop the club, hit through the ball. I'll be showing you from the front view how to do it, okay, as you look at the graphics on my screen. Okay, so this is what's going to take golf 
to another level. Now, some of you can even comment. Uh, I don't, are people commenting? Okay. A lot of you can even comment on this box, I believe, because the last time I did one, you could comment. Um, but we're not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about how the quality of the video is going to come out with me being here, okay, versus just sitting, okay, on a couch or sitting at my desk. Okay, so I hope this helps. Again, this is a test video from 2.6, okay, taking it up a notch, okay, with the interactive ability here on YouTube Live, right here, talking about how we cover the ball or how we cover the water nut, okay, here in Grenada to hit nice level shots with the ball. Okay, hope this helps. For those of you who are joining me from YouTube, click the link below, put your name and email address in the box for more 2.6 videos. Get the official 2.6 Griffin Poster video. Okay, get your, give me your email address, I'll send you that, plus I'll send you other videos on the club position and on the body position, okay, that you can get in your email box right away. Okay, Terry Beverly here, 2-6 player, 2-6 golfer. I will talk to you in the next video.